This is a Game Caviar production. Not having in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm playing on hijinks. That's what I call it. Hard point. This was some, um, what is it called? Theater gameplay. Uh, apparently, I, I don't know what that, I think it's called Turbin. The one with the uh, the wind generators on it. Anytime I play on that match or the, that map, the game does not record. And I've noticed that if I go to my theater and I go to my what's up, whatever it's called, uh, I don't see any of those matches where I played on that map. And it's weird. It is. Most of the matches that I played are on uh, this one. I haven't seen Nuketown 2025. I don't know whether they took it out of the game or or what. I, I don't know whether it's going to be part of the game permanently or is it just one of those whenever they want it, whenever they put Nuketown what is it 2025 24 7 up i don't know i don't know i have you guys witnessed nuketown 2025 like i haven't seen it at all and i've played for hours at a time and i haven't it's not even listed as one of the maps to choose from and it's weird it's really weird because you would think that the most popular map would be available in the rotation I don't know what exactly the issue is with that or why Treyarch is uh, suppressing that map. And it's probably some sort of stupid reason. Uh, there's no reason why you would take your most popular map and just not keep it apparent in the game. Right there, a couple seconds ago, you saw me get a knife kill. Knife kills in this game, for me, are damn near impossible. I've seen my knife go through somebody and not kill them. Uh, but that just goes back to lag and hit detection. If you watch this game, if you watch this this gameplay from beginning to end, you will see that the hit detection in this game is absolutely horrendous. I mean, it is a joke. I did not notice this when I was doing the map or inside the match, but when I was looking at it through the theater, I was noticing that I was nowhere near shooting people like a lot of times and i was getting hit markers and kills because this game is just weird like that man it's like it doesn't like they put hit detection in and they did nothing with it to refine it which it sucks when it when it bites you in the ass because you're like oh man the hit detection is garbage it's garbage but in this match it worked out in my favor so no, whatever you you take the good with the bad while you're watching this video, I also want you guys to go ahead and I'll take this opportunity to subscribe to the video. Look at that knife kill. Look at that. Off the ladder. Subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of good stuff. A lot of good videos. All the new popular games. I mean, all of them. Besides Black Ops 2, you know, we got Battlefield, uh, Uncharted. Not Uncharted. I mean, that's new, but that's popular, but it's not new. What, am I, what game am I thinking of here? We got Battlefield. I just put up a Zombie U video uh, we got dishonored halo 4 assassin's creed 3 it's a lot of good things on this channel so go ahead and subscribe next year is going to be uh, expanding it more i've recently finally got around to set up the skype so th that all the other guys who are a part of game caviar can actually be a part of the videos and not just some like distant memory because i sound like i'm crazy when it's like i'm, I'm on here and i'm like oh yeah we got all these guys on game caviar you know they uh, they help out you know, it's, got to get, it's a lot of guys in Game Caviar. And then you watch the videos and it's just me. B20 has put up a couple videos. He is part of Game Caviar. He has his own setup. Uh, but there are other there are two other members. And they will be incorporated into Game Caviar ASAP. ASAP. As soon as possible. Usually, I mean, probably within the next couple days, to be honest with you. There's also... If you need, if you have a kill streak that requires the uh, the little tablet thing, like a uh, missile or dragon fire or anything like that, in the back of the boat, they are two life rafts. I don't know if you noticed this or not. I found this out the other day. There are two life rafts that you can jump onto, and you can lay down in there, and you're pretty much hidden. I don't think that a lot of people know about them because they're all the way in the back. Like, you have to go in the back of the boat and look down to see them. That's how hidden, that's how off the map they are. And you just go down there, you lay down, and you can do whatever you need to do. And you have a higher chance of staying alive. I didn't use that in this map because I absolutely forgot about it. But in future, in the future, if you guys are on this map and you need a good place to not get killed while you're doing your little tablet thing like right here those life rafts are pretty much your best bet 
And a lot of times I notice that when I'm in when I'm playing on this map, unless you're playing hardpoint or maybe headquarters or something like that, uh, people really don't go underneath the boat. You know how you can go under there where the engine and compartment is and all the plumbing and whatnot. A lot of times when I run back and forth through there, I don't inc I, I don't uh, encounter anybody. So that could be another place. That could be another place, especially when you go down. Uh, that uh, the forward of the boat if you go down that that route and then you walk down those stairs there's a spot right there that where you can sit and you can get on your little tablet and do whatever you need to do and you won't be seen and look at this this is this is a great kill right here ran out of bullets switched my pistol shot him he threw down a bounce of betty i ducked under it killed him and i managed to escape unharmed maybe i did get harmed a little bit but i lived that's the biggie that's some of the things that I had to work on, especially in this game. I had to get used to the, uh, well, not get used to it. I, normally, I don't run a secondary in this in this game at all. But now that I, 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 the reason why I did is because I started to run out of bullets. And I was in a position where I was so into the battle that I didn't get, I, I kept forgetting to get a secondary because... You can set up your class with all 10 slots or whatever picked without a secondary. As soon as the match starts, you can pick up a gun. And it's kind of a workaround to that score system, which is bullshit to begin with. I don't like it. I think it's stupid, but whatever. It, it, it gives people more freedom to do whatever they want in the, um, in the game. But uh, I don't... The score system, the the pick ten system, and the uh, the score system for kill streaks is just inconsistent in this game. I thought they would go, especially with the kill streaks. I thought they would go more of a a uh, how Homefront did, to where you get points, but they don't restart after you die. Like you keep the points and you build them up to get whatever you want. But there were tons of there were way more options in Homefront. Uh, that weren't necessarily kill streaks like tanks and Humvees and flak jackets. RPG was one of them. Uh, let me say the UAV, of course, that was one of them. That was like a very basic one. Uh, white, phosphor white phosphorus missiles. Oh, not missiles, or bombs. That that was another one. I thought that's what they were going to do in Black Ops, but apparently it was just. This isn't any different than the kill streak system that you've seen in any other Call of Duty that features kill streaks. They just churched it up a little bit and tried to give it a fancy name and then made it seem like it was something new. Uh, but, you know, it's like the. What is it? You pull the, the wool over my eyes type deal. Once you get past that, once you get past all the shiny new, new, new of this game, you get to see that it's just. it's. It's basically Call of Duty, just updated in the future. Like, you still have... I got really lucky right here. You still have the lag, as you can see in this game, hit detection issues, blah, 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 campers. Quickscoping in this game is probably easier than Modern Warfare 3. Like, I used to complain about quickscoping in Modern Warfare 3, and I was like, man, they, they really have done nothing to do this. I'm glad Treyarch really is going to fix quickscoping in Black Ops 2, just like they did in original Black Ops. But then you come and you look... And it's easier to quick scope in Black Ops 2 than it was in Black Ops. It's like they took a step back. Further proving my point that Treyarch and Infinity War just don't care. They want their bathtub full of gold coins so they can swim in. But uh, I'm sitting right here with my dragon fire and it's because my TV got cut off. So in my frantic waiting for my TV to, to get turned back on, um, I had to just hang out. Basically, and I didn't get killed, and I was surprised I didn't get killed, or my dragon fire didn't get blown up or shot down or whatever. And my TV has it to where when it cuts off, it cuts off immediately. When it cuts on, it has to load like a damn computer, so it'll flash. Please wait for uh, ten GG. or five to ten frantic seconds. Uh, this match right here was uh, this was one of my better ma matches. I've played so much on this map that I have found that I've gotten my groove in there, in here, even though, like, I can have a bad start and still end up with a positive KD and just have an all-around decent match. Still, while playing the objective, I didn't quite play it as much as I'd like to in, in this match, but I still played it, and uh, for me, that's a pretty good, that's a, that's a really good match. You know, I got another Dragonfire, and it's just... 
playing the objective for me is the number one priority. But when you can have a good match where you have a positive KD and you play the objective and you're helping all your teammates by getting kills, I mean, it's it's really good. And so this was a really great match, and that's why I choose to make a video out of it. But, yeah, the uh, the hit detection in this game is probably some of the best hit detection I've ever seen in ever. Um, that's a lie. It's pretty it's pretty bad. And if you if you haven't noticed from playing in in a match, look at some of your matches through theater where you can look at everybody else, including yourself, and see how bad it is. Anyway, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. Happy New Year. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.